इस वीडियो में हम करेंगे डीएबी क्लास एट सोशल साइंस चैप्टर टू नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज लैंड सोयल एंड वाटर के क्वेश्चन आंसर्स। एक दी करेक्ट ऑप्शन फर्स्ट विच टाइप ऑफ इरोजन लीड्स टू डेजर्टिफिकेशन आंसर सोयल इरोजन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज सुटेबल फॉर रिस्टोरिंग सोयल फर्टिलिटी एंसर रोटेशन ऑफ क्रॉप क्वेश्चन थर्ड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ मल्टीपर्पोज रिवर वैली प्रोजेक्ट एंसर लार्ज स्केल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ पीपल क्वेश्चन फोर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ लेक्स एंड पॉइंट इज इजेंशियल फोर एंसर इंक्रीजिंग वॉटर टेबल क्वेश्चन फाइव विच फैक्टर इज मोर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द क्विक फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सोयल इन राजस्थान एंसर एक्सट्रीम डिफरेंस इन डे एंड नाइट टेम्परेचर Fill in the blanks. First, earth surface is divided into dash and dash zones. Answer: land and water. To maintain ecological balance, dash percent of the land should be under forest. Answer: thirty-three percent. Third, planting of trees is commonly known as dash. Answer: afforestation. Question four: the main source of fresh water is dash. Answer: Rainfall. Question five: Earth is known as dash planet due to the presence of water on it. Answer: Watery. C. Write a technical term or an appropriate word for each of the following statements. First, it is formed by decomposed parts of plants and animals. Answer: Humus. Question two: The original rock from which the soil is formed. Answer: Parent rock. Question third: It is formed as a result of long continued weathering process of rocks. Answer: Soil. Question four: A project which serves various purposes at the same time. Answer: Multi-purpose project. Question fifth: The process in which the top layer of the soil is removed by the natural and human activities. Answer: Soil erosion. D type. Question number first. Why is soil considered an important resource? Give any three reasons. Answer: Soil is considered as an important resource because soil is responsible for agriculture. Soil is used for making bricks and pottery. It gives shelter to insects and animals like rats, snakes, ants, etc. Question number two: Highlight any three causes of soil erosion. Answer: Three causes of soil erosion are deforestation, overgrazing, mining. Question number three: Explain hydrological cycle with the help of a diagram. Answer: The main source of fresh water is rainfall. The rainwater continuously gets recycled in nature through evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, which is known as hydrological cycle. Question number four: How does river water get polluted? Explain. Answer: The untreated industrial waste and urban waste is dumped into the river. This makes the river water unsuitable for consumption. The polluted water, if consumed, causes many diseases like cholera, jaundice, typhoid, and it also disturbs the ecosystem. Question number five: Identify any three ecological problems caused by building large dams. Answer: Three ecological problems caused by building large dams are river water gets diverted, result in soil erosion, population gets displaced, aquatic life gets affected. E type. Question number first: Explain any five factors responsible for the formation of soil. Answer: Five factors responsible for the soil formation are the parent rock, the original rock from which soil is formed by the process of weathering, is known as the parent rock. B. The topography in mountainous regions on the steep slopes, the top layer of soil is shallow and thin. On the other hand, at gentle slopes. The soil cover is very thick and deep. Climate, climatic factors like temperature and rainfall affect the soil formation. In the areas of high rainfall and extreme temperature, 
rocks are easily weathered. D. The vegetation cover. At times, plants grow in the cracks existing in a rock. With time, roots of these plants start penetrating in the cracks and makes them wider. As a result, cracks disintegrate and help in soil formation. E. Time. Time gives maturity to the soil. Soil is a renewable resource, yet it takes thousands of years to develop a very thin layer of soil. Question number 2. What is meant by land use pattern? Why is it important to study the land use pattern? List the factors influencing the utilization of land. Answer. Land is used for various purposes such as cultivation of crops, building of houses, construction of roads and railways, grazing of animals, etc. This is known as land use pattern. The study of land use pattern is important for the economic planning of a nation. It allows us to make a judicious use of resources which are available to us. The factors influencing the utilization of land are physical factors, relief, soil, climatic conditions, mineral resources, human factors, density of population, technological and social requirements of people. Question third, what are multi-purpose river valley projects? Name any two such projects. List the main objectives of a river valley project. Answer. Multi-purpose river valley projects are developed to utilize water to serve many objectives at the same time. The stored water is used for irrigation, generating hydroelectricity, afforestation, flood control, navigation, etc. Two such projects are Damodar River Valley Project, Hirakud Dam. The main objectives of multi-purpose river valley projects are flood control, navigation, irrigation, generating hydroelectricity, afforestation. Question number 4. Suggest any 5 steps to conserve soil. Answer. 5 steps to conserve soil are Steps should be taken to check reckless cutting or felling of trees. Floods should be avoided by building dams across the rivers. Terrace farming and counter plugging should be encouraged across the hill slopes. Overgrazing by animals like sheep and goats must be checked. Scientific agriculture practices like rotation of crops, strip cropping, etc. should be systematically followed. Question number 5. Suggest any 5 methods for the conservation of water. Answer. Following are the some ways by which water can be conserved. Water harvesting is one of the methods of saving surface water runoff. The demand of water for industries can be met by the recycled water. The rainwater can be impounded by ma making dams across the rivers. Water can be conserved by in installing water fixtures such as sensor taps in public places. Maintenance of lakes and ponds also helps in increasing the aquifer of underground water.